here. Remington, Colt, Root, Smith Wesson, Colt, Navy. The Wild West, a period of American history that has been immortalized in legend and lore, was also a time of rapid technological innovation, especially in firearms. One iconic symbol of this era is the revolver, a weapon that saw numerous iterations and was favored by lawmen and outlaws alike. This video delves into the 15 most used revolvers of the Wild West, exploring their design, impact, and legacy. Each offers a unique glimpse into the challenges and choices faced by those who lived through this tumultuous period. Number 1. Colt Single Action Army The Colt Single Action Army, commonly known as the Peacemaker, is arguably the most iconic revolver of the Wild West era. Introduced in 1873, this weapon quickly gained favor among lawmen, military personnel, and frontiersmen for its reliability and stopping power. Chambered primarily in .45 Colt, the single-action army was renowned for its accuracy and was considered a superior weapon for quick-draw situations. The single-action design meant that the hammer had to be manually cocked before each shot, which was a downside for some, but it was also part of the gun's allure. Its distinct four clicks as the hammer is pulled back became an audible signature. Although the single-action army was eventually phased out by double-action revolvers and semi-automatic pistols, its impact is undiminished. Modern incarnations are still being produced today for enthusiasts, collectors, and competitive shooters. It's worth noting that the single-action army has also become a staple in Western movies and pop culture, further immortalizing its design. In films, the Colt often appears as the ultimate symbol of frontier justice and individual prowess. Held in the steady hands of a cowboy or lawman who aims to bring peace to a lawless land. The Colt Single Action Army holds a unique place as a utilitarian tool, a weapon of war, a cultural icon, and an artifact of American history. It remains one of the most recognizable and enduring firearms ever produced, encapsulating the spirit and challenges of the Wild West era. Number 2. Smith & Wesson Model 3 The Smith & Wesson Model 3 often referred to as the Schofield, was another significant revolver that saw widespread use during the days of the Wild West. Introduced in 1870, it was a top-break, single-action revolver that had a unique hinge-based design. This feature allowed for rapid reloading, which gave it a distinct advantage over other revolvers of the era. Chambered in various calibers like .44 American, .44 Russian, and later the .45 Schofield, it offered versatility and power in a compact frame. The Model 3 was favored by well-known figures such as Jesse James and General Custer. Even Wyatt Earp was reported to have wielded a Smith & Wesson Model 3 during the infamous gunfight at the OK Corral. Its cultural impact was significant, contributing to the enduring mystique of the gunfighters of the Old West. Just like the Colt Single Action Army, the Model 3 was also featured prominently in Western cinema and literature, where its unique top-break action was often dramatized for effect. The Smith & Wesson model, the 3rd of May, not have achieved the same level of cultural immortality as the Colt Single Action Army, but its technical innovations and service history make it a crucial piece of the firearms landscape of the Wild West. With its top-break design offering rapid reloading and its widespread use by some of the era's most storied figures, the Model 3 holds its own as an iconic firearm of the period. Number 3. Remington Model 1875 The Remington Model 1875 was Remington's attempt to compete with the Colt Single Action Army, which had essentially monopolized the revolver market in the mid-1870s. Introduced in 1875, this single-action weapon was inspired by Remington's earlier Model 1858, but it was designed to meet the new demands and challenges of the frontier era. While it never managed to unseat the Colt from its position of dominance, the Remington Model 1875 earned its place in the annals of Wild West firearms for its own set of merits. One distinctive feature of the Remington Model 1875 was its fixed cylinder, which needed to be loaded and unloaded one cartridge at a time through a loading gate. 
While this process was slower compared to the Smith & Wesson Model 3, the Remington had its own dedicated following. It was notably wielded by Frank James, the older brother of Jesse James, and was used by law enforcement agencies, further embedding its role in Wild West history. In a market heavily influenced by the likes of Colt and Smith and Wesson, the Remington Model 1875 was something of an underdog. However, its quality build and reliable performance granted it a loyal user base. Although it might not have achieved the widespread acclaim and iconic status of some of its contemporaries, the Remington Model 1875 stands as a testament to the engineering capabilities of its time, offering yet another glimpse into the firearms that shaped the American frontier. Number 4. Winchester Model 1873 The Winchester Model 1873, often referred to as the gun that won the West, is technically not a revolver but a lever-action rifle. However, its significance in the firearms history of the Wild West is so profound that it deserves inclusion in any discussion about the era's most influential guns. Introduced in 1873, this rifle offered several advantages that made it highly sought after among settlers, hunters, and lawmen alike. Though it was not a handgun like its revolver counterparts, its role in the shaping of the frontier is indisputable. The Winchester Model 1873 gained fame for its reliability and versatility. Its relatively lightweight design and ease of use made it accessible to shooters of different skill levels. Additionally, the rifle was customizable with various barrel lengths and finishes, catering to the specific needs or aesthetic tastes of the owner. It became the long-arm counterpart to many of the famous revolvers of the time, often wielded by the same legendary figures who favored handguns like the Colt Single Action Army or the Smith & Wesson Model 3. In popular culture, the Winchester Model 1873 has been glorified in numerous Western films and books, symbolizing the rugged individualism and frontier spirit that characterized the Wild West. In real life, the gun was instrumental in numerous historical events, including battles, law enforcement, and westward expansion. So while it may not fit the traditional mold of a Wild West revolver, the Winchester Model 1873's impact and legacy are so integral to the fabric of American history that its story is interwoven with that of the revolvers that famously populated the holsters and gun belts of the Wild West. Number 5. Merwin and Hulbert Revolvers Merwin and Hulbert Revolvers are perhaps one of the lesser-known yet highly innovative firearms from the Wild West era. Produced by the Merwin, Hulbert & Company, these revolvers gained a reputation for their unique engineering and sturdy construction. A key feature was their twist-and-pull reloading mechanism that allowed the user to quickly eject spent cartridges while keeping the unspent ones in place, a convenience in the often frantic settings of frontier life. The intricacy and the craftsmanship of these guns were apparent, making them one of the more premium offerings of their time. What made Merwin and Hulbert revolvers particularly interesting was their closed frame design. Unlike many other revolvers that had an open top, these firearms had a solid frame, which contributed to their durability and reduced the likelihood of misalignment, providing a more accurate and reliable shooting experience. The design also included safety features such as a barrel that could be rotated to rest on an empty chamber, preventing accidental discharges. Although not as iconic as some of its competitors, the Merwin and Hulbert line of revolvers stands as a fascinating chapter in the history of Wild West firearms. They were the choice of discerning gun owners who valued craftsmanship and innovation, and they serve as a testament to the ingenuity and diversity of firearms design during this pivotal period in American history. Number 6. Colt. 1851 Navy Revolver. The Colt 1851 Navy Revolver holds a special place in the pantheon of Wild West firearms, not only for its technical attributes, but also for its historical significance. Introduced in 1851, this cap and ball revolver was chambered in .36 caliber and featured a 7.5-inch barrel. The name Navy did not refer to its intended use by maritime forces, but was rather inspired by the cylinder engraving that depicted a naval battle. Despite being introduced before the era commonly referred to as the Wild West, this revolver was a staple of that period, particularly during the Civil War and its aftermath. 
Post-war, the 1851 Navy found itself in the holsters of numerous famous figures of the Wild West. Legendary gunslinger Wild Bill Hickok was known to have carried a pair of Colt navies. Doc Holliday, another iconic figure of the time, also favored the Colt Navy for its handling and balance. Given its widespread use, the 1851 Navy was integral to many events and conflicts that defined the era, from gunfights and law enforcement to hunting and self-defense. The Colt 1851 Navy revolver was eventually overshadowed by cartridge-firing revolvers, but its importance in shaping the American West should not be underestimated. Besides its functional qualities, the revolver was a marvel of mid-19th century craftsmanship, often featuring ornate engravings and grips made of ivory or exotic woods. Although rendered obsolete by subsequent technological advancements, the Colt 1851 Navy remains a symbol of a bygone era, capturing the spirit and challenges of a burgeoning America. It stands as an artifact that connects us to a defining chapter of American history, where firearms like it played a pivotal role. Number 7. Star Revolver The Star Revolver, although less celebrated than its Colt and Smith & Wesson counterparts, was another firearm that saw action during the American Civil War and later in the era of the Wild West. Manufactured by the Star Arms Company of New York, this revolver had the distinction of being one of the few double-action revolvers used during the Civil War. Initially designed in a .36 caliber model, it was later upgraded to a .44 caliber to meet the demands for more firepower. Despite its somewhat cumbersome appearance and weight, the Star Revolver was appreciated for its mechanical innovation and reliability. The original design of the Star was double action, meaning it could fire with a single pull of the trigger, advancing the cylinder and cocking the hammer automatically. However, soldiers found the design to be less robust and harder to repair compared to the simpler single action revolvers like the Colt 1851 Navy. Recognizing these concerns, Star Arms Company introduced a single-action version, which the U.S. Ordnance Department promptly adopted, ordering thousands of units for use by Union forces. While it may lack the fame and romantic aura that surrounds other revolvers of its time, the Star Revolver remains an interesting footnote in the history of American firearms. Its contribution to the Civil War and its subsequent role in the days of westward expansion make it an essential part of the larger story of guns in America. This often overlooked weapon serves as a reminder that innovation and practicality were just as important as notoriety in the unforgiving landscape of the Wild West. Number 8. Lamat Revolver the Lamatt revolver is one of the most unique and fascinating firearms to emerge from the era of the American Civil War and the subsequent Wild West period. Developed by Dr. Jean Alexandre Lamatt of New Orleans, this unusual handgun boasted a combination of features that set it apart from anything else available at the time. Most notably, the Lamatt had two barrels, one for a conventional .42 or .36 caliber revolver cylinder and a second central smoothbore barrel capable of firing a shotgun charge. This gave the shooter the flexibility of having both a revolver and a shotgun in a single weapon, a distinct advantage in close quarters combat or when faced with multiple adversaries. After the Civil War, the Lamatt saw limited use in the Wild West. Its substantial weight and bulk made it less practical for everyday carry compared to more streamlined options. However, the revolver did earn a reputation for sheer firepower and versatility. It was the kind of weapon that could offer a psychological edge, given its ability to unleash a devastating shotgun blast in addition to the multiple revolver rounds. Although the Lamatt revolver was not as prolific or iconic as other firearms of its time, its unique design and capabilities make it a remarkable piece of gun history. It epitomized the spirit of innovation that characterized weaponry during this tumultuous period in American history, capturing the imagination of those who used it and those who only heard tales of its legendary firepower. Number 9. Colt Dragoon The Colt Dragoon, first produced in 1848, was a formidable weapon designed primarily for the U.S. Army's mounted troops or dragoons, and it played a significant role both in the military and civilian sectors. Samuel Colt drew inspiration from his earlier Walker Colt design to create this heavy and powerful revolver which was chambered in .44 caliber. 
The Dragoon was a beast of a gun, weighing nearly four and a half pounds when loaded, but its size was a trade-off for its impressive stopping power and effective range. The Colt Dragoon saw considerable action in the conflicts leading up to and including the American Civil War. Its ruggedness and firepower made it a popular choice for soldiers and officers alike. After the war, surplus and civilian model Dragoons became available and were adopted by many figures of the Wild West era. Their sheer size and weight made them less suitable for concealed carry, but for those who carried them openly, they were often viewed as a symbol of authority and capability. Though it was eventually overshadowed by lighter and more advanced revolvers, the Colt Dragoon remains a milestone in the history of American firearms. It symbolized a period of rapid innovation in weapons technology and military tactics, responding to the real-world needs and experiences of those who lived and fought during a time of great upheaval and expansion. The Colt Dragoon was not just a gun. It was a testament to the challenges and aspirations of a young nation on the move. Number 10. Colt 1860 Army. The Colt 1860 Army Revolver is another iconic firearm that shaped the landscape of the American Civil War and the ensuing Wild West era. Successor to the Colt Dragoon, the 1860 Army was lighter, more streamlined, and chambered in .44 caliber, offering a potent combination of firepower and portability. Weighing just around 2.5 pounds with an 8-inch barrel, it was more convenient to carry, a feature highly valued by soldiers, lawmen, and outlaws alike. Samuel Colt's ingenious design integrated a rebated cylinder that allowed for a larger bore while maintaining the strength and integrity of the weapon. Despite being eventually surpassed by cartridge-firing revolvers, the 1860 Army's impact on American firearm history is indelible. Its balance of size, firepower, and usability made it a symbol of both military and civilian gun culture of its time. It encapsulated the experiences, dangers, and adventures that characterized a tumultuous period in American history. Though no longer a practical weapon by modern standards, the Colt 1860 Army remains an enduring representation of the technological and cultural shifts that the nation underwent during its formative years. Number 11. Ruger Blackhawk the Ruger Blackhawk may seem like an anachronism in a video dominated by 19th-century revolvers, but its inclusion is merited by its purposeful nod to the gunslinging past and its impact on modern revolver design. Introduced in 1955 by Sturm, Ruger & Company, the Blackhawk took inspiration from the classic single-action revolvers of the Wild West era, most notably the Colt Single Action Army. Chambered in a variety of calibers ranging from .357 Magnum to .45 Colt, the Black Hawk provided a modern, durable, and highly accurate single-action revolver that captured the essence of historic guns while incorporating up-to-date engineering and materials. Though the Ruger Black Hawk came long after the era commonly thought of as the Wild West, it became a favored weapon for modern cowboys, hunters, and shooting enthusiasts who longed for the nostalgic feel of a single-action revolver. Even Hollywood adopted it as a stand-in for period-correct revolvers in Western movies and TV shows, testifying to its authenticity and capturing the look and feel of its 19th-century predecessors. In many ways, the Ruger Blackhawk bridges the gap between the past and the present. It retains the aesthetic and functional elements that made Wild West revolvers iconic, while incorporating modern innovations that enhance its safety, durability, and performance. By doing so, the Ruger Blackhawk has earned its place not just as a tribute to the revolvers that won the West, but also as a living example of how classic design can be thoughtfully updated for contemporary use. Number 12. Colt 1849 Pocket The Colt 1849 Pocket Revolver was a departure from the large and heavy revolvers that had preceded it, offering a more compact and easily concealable option. Introduced in 1850 by Samuel Colt, this five-shot revolver chambered in .31 caliber became an instant hit among civilians, earning its name as the Pocket model for its suitability for concealed carry. With a barrel length varying from 3 to 6 inches, it was significantly smaller and lighter than military-issue revolvers like the Colt Dragoon, making it popular for personal protection and as a backup weapon. Despite its civilian orientation, the 1849 pocket revolver wasn't entirely absent from the theater of war. Some soldiers and officers, both Union and Confederate, 
chose to carry it as a secondary or backup weapon during the American Civil War. Its small size made it convenient to tuck into a boot or coat pocket, and while it wouldn't be the first choice for open combat, it provided an extra measure of security in close quarters situations. As with many Colt revolvers of the 19th century, the 1849 Pocket played a role in the taming of the American West. Though dwarfed in firepower by the larger revolvers that earned legendary status, the Colt Pocket held its own by offering a balance of size and capability that met the needs of a wide range of people. Its popularity during its era is underscored by the high production numbers, with over 300,000 units manufactured during its run. The Colt 1849 Pocket may not have won battles or gunfights on the frontier, but it won a different kind of war, arming civilians in an age and place where self-reliance was often the best defense. Number 13. Colt New Service The Colt New Service marked a departure from the traditional single-action revolvers that populated the Wild West, ushering in a new era of double-action firearms designed for military and law enforcement agencies. Introduced in 1898, the New Service was a large-frame, double-action revolver that came in a variety of calibers, including .45 Colt, .44, 40, and later the .357 Magnum and .38 Special. With a robust design and capacity for six rounds, it was engineered for durability, ease of use, and the kind of reliability that was essential for those in uniform. Built to meet the demanding requirements of combat and policing, the new service was adopted by several military branches, seeing action in conflicts like the Philippine-American War, World War I, and even World War II. Its reputation for accuracy and hard-hitting power made it a preferred sidearm for soldiers and officers. The double-action mechanism allowed for quicker follow-up shots than the single-action revolvers it replaced, giving its users a potential edge in life-or-death scenarios. In addition to military applications, the new service also found favor with law enforcement agencies across the United States and Canada, serving as a standard-issue sidearm for many years. In production until 1944, with over 350,000 units manufactured, the Colt New Service stands as a testament to the evolution of firearms technology and the changing needs of a society transitioning from the Wild West into the modern era. It managed to bridge the gap between tradition and progress, offering a sidearm that was both state-of-the-art and steeped in the ethos of rugged individualism that characterized the American frontier. Number 14. Smith & Wesson Safety Hammerless The Smith & Wesson Safety Hammerless, colloquially known as the Lemon Squeezer due to its grip safety, offers an interesting contrast to the larger, more imposing revolvers often associated with the Wild West. Introduced in 1887, this small, double-action revolver was designed with a specific focus on safety and concealability. Chambered in .32 and later in .38S and W, it featured a five-shot cylinder and a unique internal hammer, which made it snag-free and easier to draw quickly from a pocket or purse. The grip safety at the back of the frame had to be squeezed, hence the nickname, to allow the trigger to be pulled. Although it may not fit the stereotypical image of a Wild West gun, the Smith & Wesson Safety Hammerless serves as an example of the broad spectrum of needs and preferences that existed during the time. It might not have been the weapon of choice for a duel at high noon, but in the pockets and handbags of everyday citizens, the Lemon Squeezer stood as a silent guardian, emblematic of an era that was not just wild but also increasingly diverse and complex. Number 15, Colt 1877, Thunderer. The Colt 1877 Thunderer stands out as a fascinating chapter in the lore of Wild West firearms. Named colloquially as the Thunderer, this double-action revolver represented Colt's initial foray into the realm of double-action mechanisms. Manufactured from 1877 to 1909, the Thunderer was chambered for the powerful .41 Colt cartridge, distinguishing it from its sibling, the Lightning which was chambered in .38. With its six-shot cylinder and varying barrel lengths, the Thunderer aimed to capture the allure of the burgeoning double-action market. In an era where the single-action revolver reigned supreme, the introduction of a double-action mechanism was revolutionary. It allowed for quicker successive shots, as the shooter no longer had to manually cock the hammer for each trigger pull. This was particularly beneficial in situations that required rapid fire, making the Thunderer attractive to lawmen and civilians alike. 
Despite its innovative feature, the Thunderer was not without its flaws. The mechanism was notoriously delicate and prone to malfunction, which could be a severe disadvantage in a life-or-death confrontation. These mechanical issues were partially why it didn't achieve the same level of fame as other Colt models like the Single Action Army. The Colt 1877 Thunderer thus occupies a unique space in the panorama of Wild West firearms. It serves as a milestone for Colt in the realm of double-action revolvers and stands as a testament to the shifting tastes and technological advancements of its time. Although marred by mechanical imperfections, the Thunderer retains a charm and significance that reflect the complexities and challenges of firearm design during an era when guns were not just tools, but icons of American culture and identity.